It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. That I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> well, after weeks of struggling to elect a new Speaker of the House, Republicans gave up and just generated one with AI. <laughs> There's no way Mike Johnson is a real person. He's supposed to be a conservative Republican, yet he looks like every MSNBC host combined. <laughs> I feel like the way Mike Johnson got elected is that after weeks of voting, Republicans got bored and they all wrote in the same fake name. And then they were like, wait, that's a real guy? <laughs> Speaker Mike Johnson has also been called homophobic for supporting anti-LGBTQ legislation and saying homosexuality is bizarre and deviant, which are two fantastic gay clubs on the West Side, by the way. <laughs> Former... <laughs> Former president and current courtroom sketch model Donald Trump <laughs> testified, <laughs> testified on the stand for the first time in over 10 years. And it's fun that nobody is 100% sure which trial this sketch is from. <laughs> it turns out it was from a civil fraud trial where Michael Cohen testified against Donald Trump while Trump was in the courtroom. And I believe we have video. <laughs> Michael Cohen testified that Donald Trump's three oldest children were involved in putting together financial statements for his company. Ivanka wrote the summaries, Don Jr. put together the numbers, and Eric licked the envelopes. <laughs> Michael Cohen testified that Trump would look at the total value of his assets and say, I'm actually not worth $4.5 billion. I'm really worth more like six. Four and a half is basically six is also what he tells Melania. <laughs> And earlier today, Mike Pence officially ended his presidential campaign. He made the decision after he consulted with God, and God said, dude, you're embarrassing both of us. A new poll shows President Biden and Donald Trump are tied in a hypothetical 2024 rematch, though they're both running 50 points behind Kill Me. <laughs> King Charles... <laughs> <laughs> King Charles will visit Kenya next week, where he is expected to acknowledge Britain's role in the slave trade and, unfortunately, attempt to return Meghan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just report the news, guys. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell it. Mitch, <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here watching the bank foreclose on a single mother... <laughs> Says that, says that he has completely recovered after two incidents where he appeared to freeze up and become unresponsive. But suspiciously, he, <laughs> but suspiciously, he made the comments while being held up by two guys in beachwear. 